hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while since you've seen me the last time well in my last video i haven't uploaded it yet but i was telling you guys about my skincare not a bomb not a chink not a spot but um i was telling you guys about my skincare and i have a skincare line right now i'm working on some soaps um, I'm making charcoal and turmeric soaps and I'm making turmeric soaps and um, a tea tree moisturizer and almost I don't know if I'm gonna do my body butter tonight but I'm just gonna take you guys through a small part of the process and um, hope you like it if you like my video like share subscribe okay thank you bye but I'm gonna spray my mold with alcohol after that I'm gonna just add the charcoal bottom Okay, so right after doing that, I'm going to spray again to get rid of the bubbles. Although this part isn't really as important because we're not done yet. And it's drying very quickly. My spray bottle is faulty. <sighs> Anyways, so this is going to be the bottom of my soap. That's a base. Okay. Okay, so when we're through with that, I just rinse my utensils again. Um, I clean them at the same time because I don't want them to stay. And then um, now I'm going to do the second layer and make sure that there's no water there because water tends to mold, um, mold the product, creates mold. Anyways, my method is using... Um, using a boiling technique but because i use melting pour solution that means i don't have to cure my soap so whatever it's already done comes in a block of soap this is goat's milk soap base and i have oatmeal soap base oatmeal soap base so um all i would have to do is apply heat Melt it, add my um, ingredients, and let it set in the mold. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut up this this base, and I'm going to do the turmeric half. I'm gonna do the turmeric half, and I'll show you guys what I do. Okay, so we've added that to the pot and I added another piece of soap that I made before that has shea butter in it because shea butter is really good for your skin. Um, what I'm going to do now is mix the turmeric part, that's the fragrance oil, which, oh, which I use lemongrass, which is very herbal and nice, soothing. Um, I also use tea tree oil, tea tree, and 
almond oil and that's the only thing I'm gonna give to you and add my other ingredients off camera but I'm gonna show you the mixture before I add it to the pot and why do I keep saying pot to my mixing bowl and yeah oh focus so that's what my mixture looks like yep it's very thick uh-huh and we're just gonna add that to the mixture okay so um our base is almost finished melting i'm gonna just be adding this and stirring it up so we can separate so see it's getting the color already two American colors already being distributed and then we're going to continue adding more of it until it's completely smooth and i'll show you what that looks like this is not the true color because this is really beautiful it has a golden brown color okay there we go that's the real color it's beautiful hey guys um i'm leaving that to melt melt properly so that it can be smooth when going into the mold um what else am i gonna do i'm gonna just wait till it gets smooth and then i'm gonna add it to the top and wait for it to sit and then we'll move on to my body butter and um show you guys how it's done okay guys so these are um partially set if you just lift it like that can see that the bottom has set and we're going to just add we're gonna just add the turmeric part so let's go all the way to the top all the way to the top Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. I'm gonna make a little bit more to fill this one properly. Um, we're just gonna wait until it dries and then I'm gonna show you the finished product. Okay guys, so now that I'm done with the soaps that are currently setting right now, my other video is going to be packaging and labeling all my products. So anyways, at the moment I am making my body butters. Is that the first? time making the body butter but this is um i'm not sure if it's a four ounce i think it's a two ounce glass jar this is what my body butter is gonna go into and um this is refined shea butter this is raw shea butter and um i'm using the fragrance peach from crafters warehouse j a okay but anyways this is what we're doing that's what we're doing and i'm using this magical gold mica powder in my um my body butter so right now i'm melting the shea butters and i'm gonna get back to you when i'm done with that and we'll add my products into the glass jars and then i'll show you my soaps which are currently almost finished setting i'm lying it's not finished setting it's gonna be soft and if i touch it it's gonna be um soft and soft so <laughs> i'll get back to you when i'm done with my body butter okay guys so the raw shea butter is taking a while more to um to melt because it was in the fridge what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add the fragrance and everything into it while it's still melting guys I don't mean to brag but look at that and I only use 
a quarter teaspoon of the manka powder. Let me try to use this back. Oh my god, I don't mean to brag. Look at that! It's called Magical Gold and it has my heart, okay? Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the tops on and let it dry and then I'll show you the results of my body butters. Okay guys, so this is what the soap looks like. And um, I'm gonna clean it up the rough edges and all of that in my next video which my next video is gonna be packaging and how I um, fix my soaps labels and all of that but thank you for being in the kitchen with me and for just being watching my video and um, thank you <laughs> Also, follow my business page at follow my business page at Lavish Life.